Greetings, child of God. My name is Paula. You are viewing Faith in Five, which is a program that is designed to stir you, strengthen you, build you, and lift you up in the things of God, and to help you along the way with your walk in Christ Jesus by the power of His Holy Spirit. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of John, chapters 8, reading from verses 12 to 18. It may be a different day or time around the world where you are seeing this video for it is shared all over at this moment faith in five is brought to you specifically on a thursday nights i am blessed and highly favored to bring you this word again book of john chapters 8 reading from verse 12 to 18 is a short passage of scripture with a very powerful profound message for us let's go dear when jesus spoke again to the people he said i am the light of the world Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Pharisees challenged him. Is someone challenging you today in your life? Are others challenging you at home, under the same roof they live with you, in work, wherever it may be in your life, in the position that you are at, someone is challenging you. You're in a fight, a boxing ring. You didn't even put yourself there. You don't even know how you got there. This word is for you. The Pharisees challenge him. Here you are, appearing as your own witness. Your testimony is not valid. Now, no one speaks by himself to be a witness alone, even according to law. Look at how Jesus answered the Pharisees, verse 14. Jesus said, even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid. Wow. For I know where I came from and where I'm going. You see, beloved, you know where you came from with God. And you know where he's taken you. You do not need them to believe you. Look at this. Wow. I know where I came from and where I'm going. But you have no idea where I come from or where I'm going. You judge by human standards. By what you think you thought you have in your mind that's what he's telling them you judge you judge me by human standards is someone judging you wrongfully today look at this i pass judgment on no one jesus said but if i do judge listen to this my decisions are right wow jesus is being very bold here because i am not alone i stand with the father who sent me and this is what i came to let you know that the father has sent you listen i stand with the father who sent me in your own law so jesus is addressing them now according to the law of the land he said in your own law it is written that the testimony of two men is valid not so verse 18 i am one i love it when jesus is smart in his speech i am one who testifies for myself my other witness is the father who sent me beloved i came on assignment the lord has specifically told me to tell you this is your position exactly in the same manner that he spoke to the pharisees and that's a spirit i'll tell you some more about that pharmaceutical spirit the same way he addressed them it's the same way you are to address them he is saying the same thing that he said you have all rights to claim it and name it and declare this he is saying that he is his own witness to his testimony and i'm here to let you know that whoever brought that grievance and hurt upon you that is taking you for granted and thinking that you are not going somewhere with god this word is for you you want to take some footnotes write this down if you have jesus today and I want to encourage those of you with the same, in the same note that I'm at. If you don't have Jesus, you need to confess your sins, repent. That's confessing and repenting from your heart. And tell the Father, Father God, to give you his connection. And his connection is Jesus, his son. His son was sacrificed. Amen. His blood was made as the atonement sacrifice offering to, to win back or to get back your life from the hands of the enemy. And so your destiny will not belong to the devil, but
to Almighty God through the offering that He has provided. Amen. So give your heart to Jesus today so that you can have the witness of the Father. You are one and He is your witness and He is all that you need. Look at this. If you have Jesus today, you have the light of life. You see, many people talk about light in religions. Many people talk about light in the world today. But Jesus made it clear. If you have, he said, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light. What kind of light? The light of life, the light of salvation. You want to write this down. Are you being challenged by others? Taken to a boxing ring? They want to fight with you. They want to pull you in. Arguments and fights. Opposition. You are facing a Pharisee spirit. And as we can see clearly in the New Testament, the times that Jesus was most bold face, as we say, or very rude, was when the Pharisees would choose to confront him. Because the Pharisee spirit will always confront you, listen to this carefully, to condemn you and pull you down. Whenever the Pharisee spirit has a question, it is never to learn of you or learn from you. It is always designed with a motive to condemn you and pull you down. That's a Pharisee spirit. And that is what you are dealing with your in your life, the trouble that you are having. Bind it, rebuke it, and cast it down. Look at this. Your testimony is validated even if you are your own witness in the sight of God the Father. That is what Jesus said. You don't need the whole world to believe you. God was present. The Holy Spirit was there. Jesus was ever present. Look at this. You alone have your salvation testimony. I can't give your story. Oh, come on, beloved. Only you can give your story because only you are the one who bared witness to what God took you out from and where he has you know only you can do that perfectly you cannot give my salvation testimony or story you cannot give my testimonies i'm the first person that was present and that was there when god dealt with me and when he did what he did with me amen beloved are you understanding you alone have your salvation testimony you knew how you were and you know how God the Father challenged you. You know what you came out from and where God promised he will take you. And that's enough. The judgment of human standards is limited. They think they know, but they know nothing. Look at this. Pass judgment on no one. But if you do, let it be a righteous judgment. You say, Paula, what's a righteous judgment? Led by the Father according to his word. Led by the Holy Spirit according to the word. Someone can be judged. And if they are, it will be in accordance with this word. If what you do or say is not in accordance. And the life you live is not in accordance with this word. Then I make, therefore, a righteous judgment. Amen, beloved. Things are simple if we would pay attention and stay with God. It will become simple. According to law, the testimony of two is valid. With God as your witness and the Holy Spirit, this is your redemption. God is your witness. This is God is your witness. This is your redemption on the day of salvation. Even if no one believes you, even if people can't see your transformation, even if people have questions about you, God has sent me to let you know by the precious blood of his son jesus christ and by the power of his holy spirit that on the day of salvation the holy spirit is your witness and that is all that you need the father is your witness that is all that you need amen beloved share this word with someone be blessed until we meet again let me just say a quick short prayer with you father i bless these people i give you thanks and praise for all the listeners all the onlookers and all the hearers I pray, my God, that whatever is the opposition in their life, that spirit of the Pharisee, pharmaceutical spirit behavior by mouth and deed and action, whatever it may be, I cancel the assignment. I break the attack of the Pharisees that is upon your life. I lift you up and I declare that you are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I declare that your witness is Father God Almighty. I declare that the Holy Spirit bears witness inside of you. You have salvation. Be blessed. Until we meet again. Bye.